Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Xnet RC to launch programs alongside Xorb when it starts up. Alongside your window manager, I mean. Um, what an Xnet RC essentially is, is it's just a shell script that Xorb launches so it knows what to do when it starts. So, to start off here, this is the probably the most basic bare bones X and RC you can make with the shebang bin sh, which means open this as a shell, open this with the, the, the shell as a shell script, and accept dbus run session basically means make a new shell and run i3 through dbus. And if I want to run that right now, obviously change, changing out i3 with whatever window manager you have, you'll just get a blank screen with your window manager of choice or i3 and and what you're going to want to do to get programs to start alongside your window manager is first you need to know what the binaries names are so for example i'm going to use udisky which is a utility that will automatically mount uh, drives and such that I plug into my system. So I'm going to open my Xnet RC and in between these two lines between the shebang and the exact line for every program I want to start in the background you want to type in the binary name space ampersand and what that means is launch this program and don't wait for it to finish. If you leave this part off, what's going to happen is your shell script is going to run, it's going to get to Udisky or whatever program you have, and it's going to sit there and it's going to wait. It's going to wait till that program closes, it gets the exit code and keeps going. And you don't want that. You want this to run in the background, not the foreground, if that makes sense. Even if it has a graphical window, you don't want this blocking the whole thing. So essentially you want it running in the background. And you can have any number of programs you want to start alongside your system. So, for example, I can open Xterm, I run NeoFetch, and sleep for 10 seconds. Don't get your ampersand right out. Maybe I want Steam to also run. You know, anything you want. And if I want to run this now, you'll see that you can't really see Udisky. If you grab Udisky. Well, you can see, give me a process back here, so it is running in the background. And there, well, there was my terminal with NeoFetch opening. So that's essentially how you how you do um, how you do Xnet RC. So I hope this was helpful. I'll link to a wiki page, Arch wiki page for Xnet RC for more info in the description. And uh, yeah, hope this helped.